Hello, and welcome to Five Minutes About Pulsar. My name is Dave Fisher. I'm on the streaming team at Datastax and a PMC member on the Apache Pulsar project. Today I'm going to be showing you the open messaging benchmark which we use to prove the performance of Pulsar clusters. If you want to try Pulsar and you don't have a deployment of Pulsar ready to go, you can go to astra.datastacks.com slash register streaming and get a free Pulsar instance up and running in under a minute. If you have any questions about today's video or anything related to Pulsar, you can email us at pulsarquestions at datastacks.com. That will reach the team at Datastacks that's responsible for Pulsar and we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Today we're going to talk about the Open Messaging Benchmark Framework. Open Messaging is a Linux Foundation project and uh, it includes a benchmark framework for comparing the various messaging systems. Uh, everything from Kafka to Pulsar to Bookkeeper to JMS to RabbitMQ and more. Uh, so we use this because it's a it's cloud-based so we can put everything including the workers and the clusters in the cloud and it's pretty easy to use uh, it's transparent uh, it should provide equivalent metrics uh, so you get a fair comparison and it allows for creating some realistic and simple scenarios so we got two links on this page here one is to uh, the description of the uh, benchmark framework on openmessaging.cloud and the other is a link to the GitHub repository. Today we will be using the Datastax fork of the Open Messaging Benchmark Framework and that is the URL to the repository. Uh, we're going to assume that you've already set up your uh, cluster that you're going to benchmark against along with the workers and that is a link uh, to how to do it at openmessaging.cloud slash doc slash benchmark slash pulsar. You will need an AWS account to proceed. So let's run a benchmark. We're going to run a benchmark today on uh, Apache Pulsar. Okay, here's how we run a benchmark. We run the bin benchmark uh, routine on the main worker and we give it the name of the driver file which defines our, our pulsar parameters and we say we want to provide more um, consumers than producers and we give it our workload our workload is 1 million messages per second with 10 topics that have three partitions each the message size is 100 bytes and you can see we have a bit of we show a little bit of output on our way here we see the eight workers and we see the three producers and five consumers and we see some of the specs from the driver files and the um, workload and then here we are we've uh, we've created our topics We've created our subscriptions to the topics so that we get a nice, even, consistent rate and everything is leveled out in the Pulsar cluster. Then we have our traffic. Uh, we have a pretty small backlog and real consistent publishing latencies. So this runs for 15 minutes. So here we are. At the end, we get a JSON file. Let's analyze the results of that JSON file. There is a very simple command called createcharts.py. So you give it your JSON files and it will create a chart. And then um, we open those up in the browser. Okay, so there's several charts that, that, that are provided. Uh, we're gonna focus on the ones involving publishing latency. So here is the publishing latency quantiles from our run. And we can see that we have really good flat results up until about uh, the 99.9697 percentile. 
so we see really good publishing results. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click the like button. That will make it easier for other people to find this video and help get more people using Pulsar. If you would like to try out Astra Streaming, the cloud Pulsar as a service offering from Datastax, you can sign up for a free account at astra.datastax.com slash register streaming. If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave a comment below or email us at pulsarquestions at datastax.com. That will go to the Pulsar team here at Datastax. We have lots of Pulsar experts that would be happy to help answer any questions you may have or help you with any Pulsar problems you may be experiencing. We hope to hear from you. Thanks again for watching this video and have a great day.